Hi guys, Olga Sobi here and today I'm gonna be doing a second test of Artist Loft Ready Mix Pouring Paint. I gave it a go last week, I got some pretty cool results and the most intriguing one was this one. So I got sort of a transparency effect which I really liked but unfortunately this pour has turned into a bug cemetery because I got like five or six bugs stuck in, in the paint which is a shame because I really liked it and I want to try and recreate this effect. So yeah, that's what I'm doing for one pour today. And also I got a several requests from you guys to uh, test this paint for a Dutch pour because it's quite fluid, so it might work pretty good. So this is what I'm going to do for a second pour and I will show you the dry results for both at the end of the video. Okay, so for the first one, I'm going to do a flip cup. And I'm going to layer cup, uh, all the colors in a cup and I'm going to do uh, two rounds of each color. So today I'm working on 10 by 10 canvas and I just want to let those colors sit for a few seconds. All right, I'm going to do the flip. So it doesn't look very transparent just yet and the last time I did also the transparency was a lot more noticeable once the pour was dry. So I'm just gonna put it away for now and I will show you how it looks when dry. So this uh, already mixed paint dries very fast, it begins to settle very fast. So I don't know how is this going to work with the base layer but that's kind of the part of the Dutch pour technique, so I guess we'll see. So, so far I don't get any cells after I blow some of that white over the colors. This is what usually happens with other mixtures. So on my first impression, the way paint was flowing while I was blowing in it was definitely different from the mixture from uh, paint and fluid roll or paint and water. Uh, it's not better or worse, it's just different. And when I was torching it, I did not get any cells. And I think the cells are quite important part of the Dutch technique. I think it brings very nice um, details to this uh, pour. So I did not like that part that I didn't get any cells, but overall I would say pretty good, pretty decent. Uh, so yeah, 
both pores are done. Now I'm going to be back tomorrow to show you how they dry, how they retain the shape and all that. And yeah, talk soon. All right, I'm back. It's been two days. All the pores are dry. I'm ready to show you the results. So for the flip cup, I did get the um, transparency effect, but the color composition is nowhere near like this one. So you can see the difference is quite big. And although I still think that this one looks pretty cool, like I can see it's sort of like a cloud. So maybe under the water effect, I can see there is white on top and there is some blue and uh, gold under it. I'm going to try and rotate so you guys see. Yeah, I think I need to uh, try a different color composition because this one <laughs> did not work as exciting as the first one. But overall, it does have a really good uh, transparency effect potential, in my opinion. So I think I'm going to experiment with it more. And with the Dutch pour, I think I got very cool results. I am very satisfied. So first of all, uh, the pour dried exactly as I left it. The blue paint got a little darker and that just brought more contrast to the spore so i think it worked out very well uh, let me know what you guys think personally i like it i don't like that i didn't get any cells i think cells are quite important part of the dutch pour but even without it i think it's still very nice and i like how glossy it is because usually when i work with just fluid troll and water i don't get this effect but i need to notice that uh, this surface is not a hundred percent smooth like um, here in the center of the Dutch pour uh, you kind of can see uh, the shape of the paint as I was blowing it a little bit not too much just a little bit so it's not a hundred percent smooth like this one I mean it's not a problem for me I don't really care but I know that some people are going for a hundred percent smooth surface so yeah this one is not like that also, I have a bunch of paint left, so let me know what are the other techniques you want me to try with this ready-mixed acrylic pouring paint, or should I keep developing the transparency effect and maybe play a little more with Dutch pour. I think I'm going to um, also get maybe a red color or orange color to just bring some diversity of my color palette, because right now I have five canvases, all the same colors. Kind of want to bring a little bit of spice to it. All right, I'm looking forward to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.